Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today we're gonna to continue to go to the cargo connect board. That's so funny how that happens. And we're gonna go ahead and look at missions three and four today. Unload cargo plane and transportation journey. So if you missed the video before, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the points are for these missions and then show you an example of how do you get those missions done. So it's really exciting. And if you wanna see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Good news. I'm going to be uploading now Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Yeah! I'm just back in school and I'm able to now upload lots of videos for you guys. So as long as my school stays open, I'm going to be bringing you guys again Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. All right? So just don't miss it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell because when I upload a video, you'll be notified. Okay guys, so we looked at missions one and two. If you didn't see that video, I'm gonna leave the link at the end of this video. But today we're talking about three and four, the unload cargo plane and transportation journey. Just so that you guys can wrap your head around the points and what it might look like for your team to get this done. So let's go to the board. Okay, for unload the cargo plane here, the bar is gonna be in this upright position. So, you're gonna get 20 points if your robot can drop this bar all the way down to this bottom base here. So that's gonna be 20 points. If the container can be completely separate from this model, that's gonna be an extra 10. So this whole mission can be worth 30 points. And I would highly suggest, if your team can, to try to bring this container back to home because then you'll be able to use this container to get points in another mission. So there's 30 points and again, check this bar. This bar needs to be all the way down for the 20 and if this container is completely separate from the model, you will get 10. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks. Okay, the container is out. Yes. Okay, so we brought that container back to home so we can use that in another mission to get more points. Okay, everybody, this is gonna be mission number four, the transportation journey. So we have two models involved in this uh, mission here. So we have this plane, we have this truck. I'm gonna be honest guys, I've looked everywhere and it doesn't say that you have to push these pushers. I didn't read that anywhere in the rules. So on this particular mission, I'm not gonna be using these pushers. I'm gonna just have the robot move the models past the blue line here. So if this plane passes this blue line, that's gonna be worth 10 points. If this truck, goes past the blue line. That's gonna be 10 points. And you will get a 10 point bonus if both vehicles are past the blue line. So this is, it needs to be completely past the blue line for these 10 points. So a 30 point possibility here if you can get both vehicles past their blue lines. Let's go ahead and get the robot and show you how this looks. Yes, we're past the blue line. Yes, past the blue line. Okay, so we got the truck past the blue line. We got the plane past the blue line. That is 10 plus 10, and then we get an extra 10 for doing both. We got a 30 point um, total for this mission. So we got that 10 point bonus for getting both vehicles past their perspective blue lines. Yes. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Missions three and missions four. 
the unload cargo plane and transportation journey. If that's in your team's repertoire to try to get that done, and they're really fun uh, missions, definitely unload the cargo plane is something that your team should do because that 30 points is right there, really close to the launching area. So I think it's something doable for all teams. The transportation journey is going to take a little bit more ingenuity and you know it's going to be a little farther away. So talk it over with your team and see if that's something that you and your team want to do. At the filming and recording of this video, I still have not seen anything in writing on the transportation journey about your robot having to hit those push, you know, pieces to get those vehicles to go past the blue line. So until that, you know, time comes, you know, you guys can throw it down on the comment section. I'm just going to go with that. We don't have to push those yet. That's one of the things I've been looking for in the updates and I have not seen that mentioned yet. So we'll just keep, you know, checking the updates daily to see if that's going to be addressed. But if not, I'm just thinking that they're allowing us to move those vehicles how we want. So hopefully you guys are still having fun with Cargo Connect. And I am Mr. Hino, and I will see you in my next video. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.